Hey guys, Ken from Veteran Screen Printing. Today we're printing on poly millers and we're gonna show you how it's done. But let's roll the intro first. All right, to get started, first thing you're gonna need is some poly millers. Uh, you can order a 100 pack from Amazon for about 10 to $15 depending on how big. Um, also, you're going to need a special ink and this is the NASDAR 7900 series. Okay, This is um, the Scarlet Red. So we're going to be printing on white poly millers and we're going to use the red uh, Scarlet uh, from NASDAR. On top of that, you're also going to need, let's show you guys, you're also going to need a screen and this is a 200 mesh um, also as you guys notice um, this is a blackout tape normally i use a uh, regular painters tape from um from you know home depot or you know anything along those lines um, but for this instant um you are using a water base so the the you know painters tape will come up and on top of that also the motion that we're using is also the Chromatech um, WR, and that's a plaster saw and water-based um, hybrid uh, type of motion. So you can actually print water-based or plaster saw or even this. Um, again, this is a special ink so that you can actually cure your um, your polymellers. Um, and what's really you know unique about this is it actually cures very 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 quickly um, you can actually just uh, leave them out and they'll dry by themselves and once they dry cured done um, you can also put them through a conveyor dryer um, this is not a a forced air um, but what I I do is I put it on the lowest temp and I put it to about a, a 50 speed and I just run them through and then also I'll lay them out uh, to uh, finish curing if it hasn't cured. Um, so let's get started and then we'll show you how we actually print our poly millers. And this is actually very beneficial because, you know, we do a lot of uh, custom orders and we will get a, um, and we'll get uh, uh, a, a lot of onesies and twos uh, shirts that we'll have to ship out. So what we'll do is we'll print our logo on the poly mailers and as it's going through the mail system, guess what? They get to see that Veteran Screen Printing actually printed this and uh, they'll start going checking it up or you know checking you out. So it's a great marketing tool as well. So let's get started and show you how it's done. Okay, so there's a couple things that you need to have uh, close and handy because like I said, this does uh, dry very, very quickly. Um, so what you would definitely need is some screen opener and what screen opener does is um, so once you are you know um, putting the paint uh, ink on on the screen uh, you definitely don't flood uh, because it'll come through the design um, but when it you can see it actually starting to harden up a little bit um, and you just take a little bit of screen opener hit it a little bit and it will reactivate and keep it, you know, uh, pretty liquid so you can actually use it. If not, it'll harden up and you, you're, you're pretty much, your screen's done. You won't be able to do anything with it. As Soon as we're done printing on this, we, we wash it out. Um, good thing is you can just wash it out. Maybe use a little bit of haze remover, a little bit of screen opener to get everything out, but we only use this screen for printing uh, poly mailers. So, it has a lot of stains on it. Um, and again, um, special ink so make sure you guys have this if you're going to attempt this okay so what we like to do is we actually like to get a poly mailer and we're going to set it up how we want on the, the button and we'll check it out make sure we like the location of it everything's straight And what we'll do is we'll put painter's tape on the platen and it'll let us know where we need to line up every single time. So when we go to set down the bags, 
it's perfect every single time. So we'll get this going and uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so we have the painter safe on the, the button and um, so every time we go put it back in, you know, we come in, put it down, we know it's ready, print, okay? So um, also you definitely need to make sure that you have a little bit of tack on your platen. Um, it's a little bit tacky. I put a little bit of water, grab our sponge, and I'll just go over it real quick. Again, we use a water base um, uh, adhesive for all of our, our platen. So as you can hear it, it's already sticky. Um, and this stuff, you know, lasts forever. Oh, well, not forever, but lasts a good while. And um, you just reactivate it by water. So let's get started. Um, we'll need to open this up. And this is like, a, like kind of like a like if you bought paint at your house. It's really uh, hard to open up. Um, Again, this is very, very liquidy. Once you're done using it, it's trash. It, 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 you can't use it again. Um, and I'm talking about the ink that's in, in the screen. Uh, again, we're just gonna pour a little bit. As you can see, it's like water. It comes out very quickly. And um, put the lid back on this. You know, make sure you secure this lid um, you don't want your stuff drying up. So make sure you secure it pretty well. And again, clean your utensils because this stuff, um, it, it dries and it's really, really hard to get off. Okay, so we'll take off the gloves. And we'll get our first uh, bag on. Set it up. And again, you don't flood with this, uh, this ink. So you take it off. And you could lay it out to dry, um, which it will dry here. And there you go. Our logo is right on our poly mailers. And again, we just put it on the conveyor dryer and let it run through, and that's all we do. Um, and we'll show you a couple more real quick. Again, just lay it down, pull it out, and you definitely want to use a high mesh. Definitely high mesh. Just like that. Lay it on the conveyor dryer. And you definitely just want to keep on going. You don't want to let this stuff sit for too long because it will dry up and you will have to use your uh, screen opener, okay? So we're just laying them on there. Um, so yeah, that's how you uh, screen print your poly mailers. All right guys, that's gonna conclude uh, showing you guys how to print on poly mailers. Um, as you can see, got quite a bit done. You can't even feel them. You you know, you uh, rub on them, they don't come off. If you were to use Plasaw, it wouldn't even stick on there. You would have to use some type of catalyst and I don't even know if it would even stay. Um, if you use water-based ink, um, that will just rub right off once you actually put it, you know, it'll dry. As soon as you go to rub it, it'll actually rub right off. So make sure you guys have the NASDAR. Um, again, it's the 7900 series from NASDAR. Um, make sure you have your motion as a at least water-based minimum. You can get, like I said, you can get the Chromotech right here. Chromotech uh, WR. It's a water-based and Plastsaw um, combined. Um, and then also make sure you guys are using definitely blackout tape that can sustain um, water-based type um, inks. 
Um, again, as soon as you get done washing it, or as soon as you get done using it, you gotta wash it out very, very quickly. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of it is even still stuck in, um, stuck into it pretty well. I'm gonna have to use some, you know, some screen opener, some haze remover, and try to get out as much as possible. The design is good. I made sure that was clear of all debris from the, the ink itself. Um, so that's how you print on poly mailers. If you guys have any questions, if you guys wanna see something else, please let us know. We're gonna hold off on doing a couple more of the vlogs because all we're doing right now every single day is printing unit t-shirts we do get some orders here and there so i know you guys are going to get tired of you know seeing unit t-shirts unit t-shirts so we're going to start printing um some of the customer stuff um when we get it so we'll do the vlogs on those but other than that we're going to do how-to tutorials we're going to show you how to do some other stuff and tricks and trades that we use uh in the shop um and maybe you guys can use them too again like i said all we're doing is unit t-shirts i mean galore and uh this is the reason why you know these are one orders two orders and this is the reason why we use our poly mailers people get to see um all of our uh, our packages going through the mail and uh, we've even had the post office say hey you know we want to help you guys because we see you guys are shipping so much so that's beneficial because everybody's starting to know who we are and that's what you guys can use too as well as for your clothing line whatever um any screen printer could do this if you they can't reach out to us we would love to have the business and help you guys grow as well so that's all we got for today if you guys like it please like comment and share this if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to us and like always be safe and have fun